So here's a scenario for you. There's rising terrain off the end of the runway. We're at Eagle. Can you clear it? What if your engine fails at V1? It's high and hot. There's a lot of stake, especially during these kinds of departures. Let's explore this with CJP's safety consultant, Neil Singer. He goes into some great depth on this. You're going to enjoy it. Thanks, Charlie. V1 cuts may be one of the more difficult maneuvers we practice. And while engine failures may be rare, bird strikes are not. Eagle Colorado is an example of an airport that can present challenges to the unprepared. Let's look at what happens when poor planning meets bad luck. Well, this is the first Eagle, Colorado on a Sunday afternoon at 30 degrees C. I wish I could get my family to get moving a little quicker before it heats up. But anyway, we got that's what's so great about a CJ3. It's got tremendous power and we got enough fuel to get all the way to Florida. And the weather's good. I've got the Gypsum 6 set in. The takeoff pre-check is done. And um, I'm just going to see and avoid because uh, I've got good visual. So. We're ready to go. And uh, Eagle Tower, citation 416, Delta Mike's ready, 25 on the Gypsum 6. November 1, 416, Delta Mike. Clear for takeoff, runway 26, Gypsum departure. Be advised, flock of birds on departure in of runway 26. 416, Delta Mike. And we'll do a static takeoff, power set, brakes released. Speeds alive on both sides. Seventy knots. B one, rotate. Yeah. Positive right. Oh, great, we lost an engine. Okay, and uh, V2, filch. Let's get down to V2. And 416, tell them like, uh, declaring an emergency, we lost an engine, We'd like to return back to uh, Eagle. 416, Delta Mike, maintain VFR, maintain clear of the obstacles. 6, Delta Mike. Okay, we're gonna go left and we're too slow. Oh man, gotta clear this terrain. Full throttle. Stay out of this. V2. This is not looking good. V2. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Stick right. Terrain. Terrain. All right. Pull up. Pull up. And David, uh, let's go ahead and uh, freeze it and let's discuss that departure. Okay. Sir. Don't sink. Sink rate, pull up. Sink rate, pull up. David just saw how when things go bad, they can do so in a hurry. Let's see how using CJP SOPs can make for a safer departure. All right, for the last part of my takeoff briefing here, it's gonna talk about the performance considerations. We've already taken a look at the APG and did our fuel planning based on that. With the temps here being about 30 C, we're limited to 2,000 pounds less than max gross weight. So we've put on 2,200 pounds of fuel, which is bringing our takeoff weight comfortably under that limit. Remembering that the FMS is only worried about the runway and climb performance, it's not worried about obstacle clearance. We've made sure we're complying with that. This performance is predicated on flying the special departure procedure. And I've already briefed the only difference from the Gypsum 6 I've been cleared to fly is that I'm going to be making the 215 turn a little bit earlier at the end of the runway if I lose an engine versus at about 400 feet if I don't. But otherwise it's the same. I don't have to load a separate departure procedure and I'm going to be flying more or less the same path on one engine or two engines. All right, with all of that done, my before takeoff checklist is complete. I'm going to call tower and we're ready to depart. Tower, citation 416 Delta Mike, ready for release at 25. Citation 416 Delta Mike, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Be advised there's a flock of birds on the departure end of the runway. Clear for takeoff 25, copy remarks, 416 Delta Mike. We got two engines spooling up. 
Takeoff thrust is made. Airspeed's alive. 70 knots cross check. V1. Rotate. Okay, positive rate, gear up. Flight level change, keep that right at B2. Lift engine oil pressure. Lift engine oil pressure. Feels like we've lost left engine, N1 degrees. And that's about the departure into the runway. We're going to start our left turn to a 215 heading a little early. Safe altitude, let's get the autopilot on. Okay, we're waiting to intercept that 326 course inbound. Just we'll stay in heading mode a little bit longer. Tower citation 416 Delta Mike declaring emergency. We've had a left engine failure. We're proceeding on the departure. We're going to go out to Curly and hold, and we'll let you know in a few minutes what our intentions are after that. Citation 416 Delta Mike, understand emergency aircraft, maintain VFR, maintain visual clearance of the terrain, and advise when you're ready to return to Eagle. 416 Delta Mike, we'll go. Great information, Neil, and a special thank you to Flight Safety Textron Aviation Training. These What Good Looks Like videos were brought to you by the CJP Safety and Education Foundation. If you'd like to learn more, please email us at safety at citationjetpilots.com. Have a great day.